Today's Tuesday, January 28, 2014, 6.30 p.m. This is the meeting of the Board of School Trustees for the City of School City of Chicago. I'd like to start with the call to order. Please roll call. Trustee Rivera. Here. Trustee Rodriguez. Trustee Hill. Here. Trustee Winfield. Here. Trustee Morris. Here. Trustee Monroe. Present. Trustee Brad. Here. Trustee Raymond. Here. Chairman Bowman. I'd like to ask everyone to please stand uh, for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. items on the business agenda for this evening. Uh, number C1 will be approval of minutes for the executive session of December 5th, December 10th, December 12th, December 18th of 2013, and the December 19th, 2013 executive session, along with the regular session of December 19th, 2013. Is there a motion to approve the minutes? Make a motion to approve the minutes. A motion by Trustee Rivera. A second. A second by Trustee Hill. Questions? Roll call. Trustee Rivera? Yes. Trustee Hill? Yes. Trustee Winfield? Yes. Trustee Morris? Yes. Trustee Monroe? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. Trustee Raymond? Yes. Chairman Bowman? Yes. The next item is approval of personnel report. Is there a motion to approve? I make a motion. This motion by Trustee Monroe? I make a second. Second by Trustee Perez. Questions? Yes, I have a question. Mr. Trustee Rivera? Uh, our number two of eight certified personnel recommendation, one of our particular social studies teachers is um, on FMLA. And I was wondering, are we uh, currently looking for someone to fill that spot only because we have to be careful about our common core, our common core standards? From what I understand, there's one of the areas that they test on. I just want to make sure that they're up to par and that we have something in place. To the best of my knowledge, they are seeking someone. I will double check with Mrs. Jagger to see if they found somebody. Okay, thank you. Present time is probably out of the case on this job. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Second question. Yes, go ahead. Section D, uh, the second page from the certified personnel. Uh, six people have been identified as a school improvement planning team. Uh, can you give me more detail about that school improvement planning team, what that entails? Just one. Actually, they have to uh, submit a plan for the state based on their recent grade, mm -hmm. and the state has just extended that deadline again because of the inclement weather. I have asked each building to come and present to you to let you know what their plans are for improvement. Okay, now. So, the reason I asked that question, I'm glad you answered that, was because I went back to the policies, and that's 2600 school, school accountability. And in it, it talks about a three year plan. So, are we looking at a strategic plan for three years? There's actually two different plans that they've been submitting. One is a school improvement team, a school improvement plan is part of being a Title I school. Mm -hmm. Now, because of their accountability grade, they have another plan to right. submit. Okay. And the only reason I ask is because I think there's three particular dates that we have to be cognizant of. I think it was supposed to be, um, let me see, I wrote it down, three year strategy is here. Okay. Uh, by April 1st, we're supposed to submit something to the state, oh, no, to you as part of that committee in terms of initial school plan. And they're supposed to be using some of our particular goals. Are we using last year's goals or the prior administration goals? Again, if this is based on their accountability grade, which I believe this is the plan they are referring to, mm -hmm. it's based now on what recommendations have come from the state okay. and where their areas of weakness are based on the data that's been discussed. And then from what I understand, they're supposed to modify that plan and compile that to give that to you as a superintendent by May 1st. And then as board members, we're supposed to be uh, approving or disapproving it. Are we planning to do that? That's why they will come and present it to you. Okay, so, so just to be quite clear with you, I'm going to look at IC 2031-5-4 as all the criteria that's involved in that particular plan. So I'm going to hold everybody accountable to make sure that we are meeting our performances because we have not 
with all of our performances. And we just had a, a guest speaker speak with us about our district. And I want to make sure that we're following that IC code. Because that has all the areas that we're supposed to be looking at. That one in the 2600, just to be open with you. Thank you. Any other questions? Yes. Trustee Forrest. Thank you. Uh, hearing all the questions asked for a roll call. Trustee Rivera? Yes. Trustee Hill? Yes. Trustee Winfield? Yes. Trustee Moore? No. Trustee Monroe? Yes. Trustee Perrin? Yes. Trustee Ramos? Yes. Trustee Bonner? Yes. Next item is the approval of distribution of payroll. The motion to approve. Okay. Uh, motion to approve. Motion by Trustee Ramos. Second. Second. Same with Trustee Rivera. Questions? Roll call. Trustee Rivera? Yes. Trustee Hill? Yes. Trustee Winfield? Yes. Trustee Morris? Yes. Trustee Monroe? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. Trustee Ramos? Yes. Chairman Bowman? Yes. Next item is approval of settlement agreement. Yeah. <coughs> attorney Lesniak? Yes. Mr. President, uh, <coughs> Spoken with the attorney for the school city and from the insurance company, 
who is representing us in this litigation. This is litigation that we discussed at one of the uh, executive sessions. Uh, she was going to try and get me the settlement agreement by today. I have not yet received it. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it's because offices were closed because of the weather for the last couple days. Uh, but this is the agreement on the litigation involving Ms. McCormick, and uh, the settlement agreement is for a payment of $5,000. That will be less than what it would cost us to try the case in court and win. So the settlement is recommended. Is there any questions? Uh, is there a motion to approve the settlement agreement? I make a motion to approve. Motion by Trustee Hill to approve. Second? Second. Second by Trustee Ramos. Any other questions? Roll call. Trustee Rivera? Yes. Trustee Hill? Yes. Trustee Winfield? Yes. Trustee Moran? Trustee Monroe? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. Trustee Ramos? Yes. Chairman Moran? Yes. Next item is approval of claim docket. Is there a motion to approve? I make a motion. The motion by Trustee Morris. Second. Second by Trustee Rivera to approve the claim docket. Questions? Yes, I have a question, Mr. President. First of all, I want to apologize to the board because uh, a lot of times when you look at things second hand anymore, you go back to the reading the story and all of a sudden you say, oh, wait a minute, I didn't see this, I didn't see that. And so I apologize because we didn't we need to talk about this, but I have a couple of questions. Not, not many. Uh, on page one, on the plumber's local, is that the union? Yes. Okay, there's two payments, one on page one and one on page three, page six. Okay, and the one on page six is toward the bottom. It's under claim 53769. I know those are two distinguishing different uh, payments. One is for 12, 16, 13, and the other is 1, 17, 14. Do we take this long to pay for these things in terms of, you know, because next month will be another month and I can see January, uh, the next following February, right? No, this is for December and January. It would be the timing of when we had to cut off the, the uh, claims docket Claim versus when okay. we received the invoice. Okay, so there was a cut off on the, on, on the December. Exactly. Okay, thank you very much. I didn't have the answer to that. Okay. All right, I got a few more. adjusting cost to this in the memo so then that way we can deduct that so then that way it doesn't show the eight thousand and show whatever amount it is. This is actually you're speaking about claim number eight seven one four five? Yes. That is actually the renewal for our district as a membership. It's it a membership that's it's, not the that is not okay, the fee because it hasn't actually been board approved. I think it's out of the P D report. Okay. Um, so that's just the twenty fourteen dues. Okay, because we when we're discussing this we're discussing it as if it's a conference. Okay. But anyway, since that's the case, I want that conference material does come up to put something in. I mean, it was a few months ago, I mean, I just said, we're about that time. And I won't be wrong. Uh, page 46. <clears throat> I was thinking about this in terms of the fire equipment. What type of supplies did we, we purchase? Were those uh, supposed to be fire hybrid, fire uh, extinguishers? Which? On uh, page 46, last one. These are, I honestly couldn't tell you off the top of my head what that would be for. The, the, it, 
it's for, for close, if it has to do with the maintenance of those, they were inspected and there were repairs that perhaps we needed to make, okay. um, or if that's actually a quarterly fee. I'm not, I'm not sure. I can pull the same and find out. Please, I appreciate that. Then on page 47, uh, some of these I have not seen before, and that's why I'm asking these questions. Like La Force, Plain Zero, no, Plain 540360. Okay. Okay. Uh, what is this? I've never seen this before. Cylinders, it's for an exterior. Is that like a door? Or in DR, I would think would be door, but it could be drive. I don't know if it's a drive shaft and then there's a bus or something that they have to order. Okay. Um, but I can find out and get you an explanation. Okay. So that's about 800 bucks for a big drive. Okay. All right. And I just think one more, and that's it. On page 49. Um, it says in here, uh, uh, claim 53962. Mm -hmm. Okay, it says here that this is for instructional supplies. Senage, I don't know what that is. Sengage is just the provider of whatever the instructional materials are. It's coming through the uh, non English speaking fund, so I'm assuming is that, Mr. Juan, would that be like ENL? You know? Yes. Um, so they would just be the provider of whatever the instructional supplies. Um, okay. I, I believe we've had claims from them before, but I could be wrong. I mean, the volume that we see. Uh, I've never um, seen that either. But I can double check for you. Okay, could you please? I think that's it, Mr. Clerk. No, one more, Mr. Clerk. All right, page 51. This will be the last one, I think, Mr. President and board members. Yeah, last one. On page 51, uh, Apple Incorporated. Is this a payment that we're paying from some last computers that we bought? Because we, like te we tend to be constantly buying computers, and I've never seen a, 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 a initial plan of any sort saying, this is what we need technologically, or this is what we're going to purchase on another end. I've never seen a plan. And, uh, I know there's there's what they call a plan. Every four or five years, you want to exchange uh, new computing systems for the old ones because you know they start becoming outdated. And so I want to know what that was because that's a lot of money, and we did that the last couple of meetings if I can remember on Apple. This is coming out of Title right. One. Right. And. The equipment, generally, my understanding is it is run by the technology director before it's purchased. If it's anything out of the ordinary, it's directly to Apple. This is not related to the lease payment that we have for all of the MacBooks, because that payment is close to $800,000, I think, and it's in June. Um, so I can find out more information yeah. about that for you. Right. Um, routinely, Title I and uh, Special Education are continuously purchasing items to aid in the um, IEPs for the students, is my, my understanding from Ms. Holland and from Ms. Okay, I sure can. Okay, that's, that's it, Mr. President. Thank you, Ms. Dolan. Any other questions? Roll call. Trustee Revere. Yes. Trustee Hill. Yes. Trustee Winfield. Yes. Trustee Moore. Yes. Trustee Monroe. Yes. Trustee Glad. Yes. Trustee Yes. Yes, next item is approval of professional development request. Motion to approve. I make a motion to approve. A motion by Trustee Monroe. Second. And second by Trustee Ramos to approve professional development request questions. Roll call. Trustee Rivera. Yes. Trustee Hill. Yes. Trustee Winfield. Yes. Trustee Morris. Yes. Trustee Monroe. Yes. Trustee Perez. Yes. Trustee Raymond. Yes. Chairman Bowman. Yes. Next item is approval of St. Stanislaus after school tutoring program. Is there a motion to approve? I make a motion. It's a motion by Trustee Morris. Second. Second by Trustee Monroe to approve St. Stanislaus after school tutoring program. Questions? Roll call. Trustee Rivera. Yes. Trustee Hill. Yes. Trustee Winfield. Yes. Trustee Morris. Yes. Trustee Monroe. Yes. Trustee Perez. Yes. Trustee Raymond? Yes. Chairman Bowman? Yes. Next item is approval of attorney contract for Friel and Friel. Attorney Lesnian? That's, <coughs> this is a renewal of their two-year contract. Uh, it is at the same rate as the old contract. is $5,000 a month for all of their services. Thank you. It's a two-year contract. Two-year contract. Thank you. Is there a motion to approve? I make a motion. Motion for Trustee Monroe. Thank you. Second by Trustee Perez. Questions? Yes, I have a question, Mr. President, or more. Or, or, or that's something that we may want to think of the board. Trustee Perez. Uh, potentially, Mr. President, I believe 
that that we should get some type of a end of the year form of report to say these are all the things that we've been doing so then that way it gives us an idea as a board that I'm paying or the city's paying or we as taxpayers are paying for the services that have been every, everything being rendered. I'm just asking for that as, as, as a thought and maybe perhaps talk about that down the road. Okay. And that's for both attorneys. Both all attorneys. attorneys. All attorneys. Thank you. Um, any other questions? Roll call. Trustee Rivera. Yes. Trustee Hill. Yes. Trustee Rankin. Yes. Trustee Moran. Yes. Trustee Malone. Yes. Trustee Perez. Yes. Trustee Ramos. Yes. Chairman Bowman. Yes. Next item is approval of board policy number 1543, non renewal of administrative contracts. Attorney Lesnar. Mr. President, the only thing this does is it changes the date. Uh, the the legislature legislature changed the date uh, in the statute from February 1st to March 1st, and that's all this uh, amendment does is it changes the date to comport with the uh, new legislation. Thank you. Is the motion approved? I make a motion. To motion by Trustee Ramos. Second. Second by Trustee Winfield. Questions? Roll call. Trustee Rivera. Yes. Trustee Hill. Yes. Trustee Winfield. Yes. Trustee Moore. Yes. Trustee Malone. Yes. Trustee Warren. Yes. Trustee Ramos. Yes. Chairman Bowman. Yes. Next item is approval of the Dactronics contract installer. Thank you, Mr. President. This is a service agreement for the scoreboard, specifically um, for the LED display. Um, this was brought to my attention by the athletic director. The original purchase was roughly just over $87,000, the one-year agreement, or there was a one-year um, service plan that covered it, which is now expired, so in order to protect our investment, this is a $9,100 cost over four years, so it's just over $2,000 per year to protect that investment. Thank you. Is there a motion to approve? I make a motion, Mr. President. Motion by Trustee Monroe. Second. Second by Trustee Hill to approve the Jacktronics contract. Questions? Yes, I have a question, Mr. President. In this contract, I think I read something about software being, being one of the concerns that we were looking at to make sure that we were going to be uh, protected. Mm -hmm. I would want to suggest, as part of our, um, they call it, um, it's uh, succession planning. If I can recall, one of our people that was doing this was going to be leaving us, and we were left in the lark. And I would like to have a second person identified so then that way if that person leaves, then we have another person who can take that particular uh, position over. Mm -hmm. I'd like to make a motion on that if I can. So I think. Uh, there's, also, there's a motion on the board currently. Uh, we'll have to address that motion first, okay. correct? Do you like to do a motion? Yeah, I think you need to vote on the recommendation is to approve the contract. Correct. Yeah, I just wanted to add to the motion. Well, I don't think you can make a separate motion. Okay, my separate, well, that's what I was trying to do. my separate motion was basically that we have a succession plan for the second person, because I think you have one individual that's identified as handling all the software and computing system in the whole scenario. To have a second person identified <coughs> with that individual, so then that way, if they're going to train, make sure they get trained to, to more than one person. That's all I'm asking for. If I could just interject, though, I don't know that the board is aware if we have a succession plan with a second individual tied in, two or more individuals tied into this contract. Are you aware of that? No, I'm not aware that there's a second contract. I mean, no, I'm sorry, may, a second individual. There may be a staff person that is primarily responsible. <coughs> um, I know that Mr. Cavazos um, worked with uh, Mr. McKenzie to go through the agreement. So I believe I could just direct Ms. Uh, Jensen to ensure that technology has a backup for, for maintenance or problem resolution on the scoreboard. I don't think it's so much problem resolution. What I think it is is that we were left in the lark because that person was the only person who ought to operate that particular venue in terms of that uh, datatronic system. I just don't want to put herself in a position the person leaves and we're paying 10, 20,000 or whatever thousand down the road when we have a contract in our hand that we can amend and ask for to add additional pieces to that if need be. All I'm asking is that we think about that so that we don't put ourselves in a position as part of the district. Ms. Stone? I'm, I'm 
guess, are we talking about a former district employee? No. 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 You're talking about the company itself. Well, the company gives this individual training, okay? And that person is the only person who knows how to run the software. But is this person a district yes, employee? Yes, okay. district employee. So you're yes. saying that you want two people trained for cooperation? Yes, so then that program. way, in case one leaves, right. we have a backup, right. so that when Mr. Lesniak can handle that versus Frank. If not Frank's left, Mr. Lesniak can handle that now. Because we were, we were put in that position, and if I would have left, Mr. Lesniak would have been left in a hole because then he'd have to learn the whole entire thing from scratch. I can speak to Mr. Kavashos and Ms. Jensen. I'm Look assuming that, that person is. trained would be in technology yes. or would work out of that yes. one or the other, and yes. we can just make sure that that's done. Right. I'll report it back to Mr. Long. So, yes. so, so we have a motion on that? Yes. A motion is approved. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think you ought to vote on the contract first, okay. and then vote on Frank's motion, right. if there's a second. Okay, okay. okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. <clears throat> um, so roll call, please, for the approval of the Dectronics contract. Trustee Rivera? Yes. Trustee Hill? Yes. Trustee Winfield? Yes. Trustee Moore? Yes. Trustee Moreau? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. Trustee Rennie? Yes. Chairman Bowman? Yes. Okay. Now. Trustee Rivera's motion, as I understand it, was to instruct the administration to have at least two school city personnel yes. trained in the operation of the scoreboard. Yes. So that in the event one leaves, we have a backup. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, so is, is there, we need a second for that motion. A second. Yes, second. So we have a motion by Trustee Rivera, second by Trustee Morris, and that's to. Now yeah, the second person is a trainee for the Dactronics contract. Is that correct? Yeah, for the operation of the And at least two correct. personnel are trained for, yes, the, for operation of these courses. Yes, okay. Any questions? Roll call. Trustee Rivera? Yes. Trustee Hill? Yes. Trustee Winfield? Yes. Trustee Moore? Yes. Trustee Monroe? Yes. Trustee Perea? Yes. Trustee Raymond? Yes. Chairman Yes. Next item is number 11. Uh, it currently reads the approval resolution opposing the elimination of business personal property tax. There are additional resolutions that the board has handed. Um, I'd like to amend it, this uh, uh, title number 11 to just read the approval resolutions period. So I ask for a motion to approve the amended uh, title for number 11. I make a motion to approve the amendment. Motion by Trustee Hill. Second? Second. Second, Trust, second by Trustee Monroe. Any questions? Roll call. Trustee Rivera? Yes. Trustee uh -huh. Hill? Yes. Trustee Enfield? Yes. Trustee Morris? Yes. Trustee Monroe? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. Mm -hmm. Trustee Reynolds? Yes. Chairman Bowman? Yes. Number number eleven, the approval resolutions. First resolutions, re resolution number twenty fourteen dash two, a resolution opposing the elimination of the business personal property tax. Mr. Mr. President, with permission of the board, I would read just the resolution part and omit the whereas clause. Mm -hmm. So resolution twenty fourteen dash two. Would read as follows. Now, therefore, here resolved by the Board of Trustees of the School City of East Chicago that this board is opposed to the elimination of business personal property from the, from the assessed value of property subject to taxation in Indiana. Be it further resolved that the Indiana General Assembly reject any proposal that would eliminate or reduce any business personal property that would be subject to taxation. And we urge all public officials in the state of Indiana to oppose any such attempts. Upon adoption of uh, this resolution, uh, it can be sent to the governor, the speaker of the House of Representatives, President Pro Tem of the Senate, and all state representatives and senators that represent any part of Lake County, Indiana. Thank you. Is there a motion for this resolution? To make a motion. To motion by Trustee Reynolds. Second. Second. Second by Trustee Hill. Any questions? Roll call. Trustee Rivera? Yes, to number two. Trustee Hill? Yes, to number two. Trustee Winfield? Yes. Trustee Moran? Yes, to number two. Trustee Monroe? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. 
Trustee Randall? Yes. Chairman Bowman? Yes. Subsequent uh, resolution is for resolution number 2014-3, a resolution opposing any reduction in revenue for public education. Mr. President, this resolution is very similar to number two, but it goes a little bit further. The uh, resolution reads, uh, now therefore be resolved by the Board of Trustees of the School City of East Chicago, that number one, the Indiana General Assembly rejects Senate Bill number one, presently pending. That is the reduction in the business personal property uh, tax. Uh, and that they reject any further erosion of the revenue available to public schools in Indiana, especially any reduction of the property assessed for tax purposes and the expansion of the voucher system. That the Indiana General Assembly and the governor of the state of Indiana be encouraged to increase funding of the operating budgets of all Indiana public schools at least to the previous year level, and if necessary, use the billion dollar reserve, the quote, rainy day fund. And this is my favorite sentence. It's raining all over the state of Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that upon adoption, a copy of this resolution be sent to the governor, speaker of the House, uh, President Pro Tem of the Senate, House State Representatives and Senators, representing any part of the state of Indiana. Thank you very much. Is there a motion to approve this very clear <coughs> resolution? I make a motion to approve. Motion with Trustee Hill. Second? I second. Second by Trustee Randall. Are there questions? Roll call. Trustee Rivera. Abstain. Trustee Hill. Yes. Trustee Winfield. Yes. Trustee Moran. Abstain. Trustee Monroe. Yes. Trustee Perez. Yes. Trustee Randall. Yes. Yes, next item is a resolution number 2014-4, a resolution regarding the Indiana State Board of Education. Okay, last thing. Yeah, many of the whereas clauses, uh, this resolution has to do with the uh, uh, asking for a change in how the board of the State Board of Education is appointed. The resolution reads that now therefore be it resolved that the method of selection of the members of the State Board of Education be changed so that one member be appointed from each of the nine congressional districts in Indiana by a vote of the public school superintendents in each such district, and the tenth member be appointed by the governor. The superintendent of public instruction should remain as the eleventh member of the State Board of Education as its chairperson. Upon adoption of this resolution, it be sent to the governor, speaker of the House, President Pro Tem. Senate and all state representatives and senators that represent any part of the state of Lake County, Indiana. Thank you. Is there a motion to approve? Resolution number four. Motion, motion by Trustee Monroe to approve. Second. Second. A second, a second by Trustee Ramos. Questions? Yes, I have a question, Mr. President. Trustee Rivera. Number, number, number four, number three, number five. The only reason I'm standing for all of it only because of the fact that I believe. This is given to us only within 10 to 15 minutes of our exec session, and I don't think I have enough knowledge to really say yes or no. So I'll abstain for all reasons. Any other questions? Roll call. Trustee Rivera. Abstain. Trustee Hill. Yes. Trustee Winfield. Yes. Trustee Moran. Abstain. Trustee Monroe. Yes. Trustee Perez. Yes. Trustee Raymond. Yes. Chairman Bowman. Yes. Next item is resolution number 2014-5, a resolution to delay the start of ISTEP testing. Okay, you must have yeah. Present, the <coughs> omitting the whereas clauses, um, it says, now therefore be it resolved that the Indian Department of Education, the Superintendent of Public Instruction, and the Indian Board of Education are requested and urged to delay the time period when ISTEP and applied skills testing are to be administered for a sufficient time to allow for the makeup of lost instructional days uh, prior to the testing. Upon adoption, a copy of the resolution is sent to the Indiana Superintendent of Public Instruction, Indiana Board of Education, and the appropriate staff member of the Department of Education. Thank you very much. The motion to approve. I make a motion to approve. The motion by Trustee Hill to approve. Second by Trustee Monroe. Questions? Um, just the one. Was there any uh, notification that was sent out to the superintendents regarding the uh, delay of the start of ISTEP testing? Yes, we received notifications from the Indiana Department of Education that they're going to visit that during that February board meeting, possibly delaying the start to make up for the increment of the days that have been lost. Thank you. So it would be who the board to act on this today. Thank you very much.
much. Any other questions? Roll call. Trustee Rivera. Yes. Trustee Hill. Yes. Trustee Winfield. Yes. Trustee Morris. Uh, thank you. Trustee Monroe. Yes. Trustee Perez. Yes. Trustee Remnick. Yes. Chairman Long. Yes. Next item is number 12, approval of field trip request. Is a motion to approve? Make a motion to approve. A motion by Trustee Rivera to approve. Okay. Second by Trustee Morris. Questions? Roll call. Trustee Rivera? Yes. Trustee Hill? Yes. Trustee Winfield? Yes. Trustee Morris? Yes. Trustee Monroe? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. Trustee Rainey? Yes. <coughs> yes. Item 13, approval of memorandum of understanding with Northwest Indiana Symphony. Mr. White. This is an opportunity for our students to take advantage of a one hour concerts offered through Northwest Indiana Symphony. And it is a free opportunity as it is underwritten by a grant. Thank you very much. Question, I'm sorry, uh, motion to approve? I make a motion. Motion by Trustee Perez is approved. <coughs> second, second. second by Trustee Ramos. Question? Roll call. Trustee Rivera? Yes. Trustee Hill? Yes. Trustee Winfield? Yes. Trustee Moore? Yes. Trustee Monroe? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. Trustee Rainey? Yes. Chairman Dorman? Yes. Next item is number 14, approval of work one request. Mr. White? Uh, work one um, has asked the school city of East Chicago to consider participating with them. We're partnering with the Legacy Foundation and Indiana University Northwest in a pilot program to provide support to unemployed professionals in Northwest Indiana to offer an opportunity to achieve employment. And they have requested a partnership with us. Thank you very much. Is there a motion to approve? To make a motion to approve. I will say Trustee Hill to approve and seconded by Trustee Monroe. Questions? Yes, I have a question, Mr. President. Trustee I had some concerns with this only because of the fact that my mind started to uh, address some of the things that we have in policy. And so I contacted uh, a work, uh, the, work, the workforce development Center of Workforce Innovation. I talked to the, the business uh, service manager and the vice president, Ms. Uh, Robin Minton, two lovely ladies. I know, them, I know at least Ms. Robin for many years. So in my conversation with them, I wanted to make sure, because I know, and I addressed this with uh, Ms. Uh, Minton and, and Ms. Allison, that if we are on the budget crunch and we're looking at riffing people in the future, we have to make sure that we understand that this is not a process in which it replaces people because it's internship it will lead to jobs. And I didn't want to put that out there in case someone from a union or someone out there was state Clearly, because we usually have that, is that you're replacing one individual for another individual. We're not doing that. What this entails, from what I understand from the conversation, is they're looking at 25 individuals that they're going to be sliding in the future. This is like the groundwork where they're getting an internship and then they get employed. And I was afraid where it said, will lead to employment. Will lead to what? Employment here or lead to employment elsewhere? They said that it's not really for here or for there. It could be a combination. It just depends on what's going on. So I just wanted to make sure I was clear. I do not want to be in a position, especially politically speaking, where people think that we're replacing one person with the other. So I made the telephone call. And so I could go, could go with this because I got good clarity on it. Mr. President, Trustee Ruth uh, Hill, I'm glad you made a call, Mr. Rivera. Although this program is not for them to fill in positions that they come to us, it is just to help these individuals gain some work experience. Yeah. So, and it's a paid internship, which is funded by like, Legacy and Indiana University. So uh, it's not to take the person's spot. A company doesn't have to retain these individuals after their hours are over. However, later on down the road, if you need someone, you know you need to train this person, that's up to you if you want to call this person in. So uh, it's not to be hired afterwards. So I think this is a good program because we're helping individuals obtain employment and getting some practice in what their, their interests are. Mr. President, I think that's exactly what I'm saying. I just I just read the information that says, if you have any information, please contact Ms. Ellison Burrow. And that's what I did for additional information. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Trustee Hill, for your explanation. Thank you. Um, questions? Roll call. Trustee Rivera? Yes. Trustee Hill? Yes. Trustee Winfield? Yes. Trustee Morris? Yes. Trustee Monroe? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. 
Trustee Raymond? Yeah. Chairman Bowman. Yes. Next item 15, approval of donations to McKinley Elementary School. Ms. Dowling. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, McKinley Elementary is able to obtain donations from Walgreens in amount of $50, Ripstone in amount of 500 to supplement their PBIS or positive behavior incentive programs, and also a teacher obtained a grant from Target in the amount of $700 for the cost of travel and entry for the And we that you um, approve those and we can use to the extracurricular accounts. Thank you. Is there a motion to approve? I have a motion. Motion by Trustee Winfield, second by Trustee Perez. Thank you. Uh, questions? Roll call. Trustee Rivera? Yes. Trustee Hill? Yes. Trustee Winfield? Yes. Trustee Moore? Yes. Trustee Monroe? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. Trustee Ramos? Yes. Chairman Bowman? Yes. Final item number 16, approval of use of the facility for open soccer. Mr. Lund? Principal Garcia of McKinley Elementary believes it's very important to build a relationship with the secondary level and has made the following request. He would like to allow Central High School soccer team and any East Chicago Central High School student who is in good academic standing to be able to use their gym for open soccer. This will be offered one day per week for a two-hour block. Dates and times to be determined upon board approval. Thank you very much. Is there a motion to approve? Is there a motion to approve? I make a motion to approve. Mr. Motion Brown. by Trustee Hill. Second. Second. By Trustee Monroe. Questions? Roll call. Trustee Rivera? Yes. Yeah. Trustee Hill? Yes. Trustee Winfield? Yes. Trustee Morris? Yes. Yeah. Trustee Monroe? Yes. Yeah. Trustee Perez? Yes. Yeah. Trustee Raymond? Yes. Yeah. Chairman Bowman? Yes. I say the D announcements. Are there any announcements for Superintendent? Yes, sir. Um, School will be open tomorrow. All staff and students are expected to report at the regularly scheduled times. Also, we have uh, some issues in the district with students' immunization not being up to date. So as a means to that end, we are providing, we're providing the opportunity for all parents to uh, sign permission slips, and there will be immunization vaccination clinics scheduled in each school building and it will be offered at no cost to our parents. All they need to do is return the information, which will be sent home probably tomorrow via the school nurses. Students who are not in compliance by March 21st will be excluded from the school. So it's real important that parents take advantage of this opportunity. Also in the past, I have been promoting the Winter Nature Camp, which is being offered on February 8th and 9th through the Dunes. It's a free opportunity for our students. As of January 24th, um, I've been told that 23 Chicago students have signed up to take advantage. Parents may still sign up their children by the end of this month. So there's a couple days left. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Um, the public forum is the next item. There is one that signed up for public forum. The date and time of the next meeting will be held uh, February 11, 2014 at Harrison Elementary School. Uh, at, the time, at this time, the board is considering opening that session up. The public forum will be to hear from the public about the board's attempt at uh, searching for a new superintendent for the school district of East Chicago. At that time, the public will be invited to speak to the board after the board meeting during the public forum session. <coughs> Please make sure that you sign up in advance of the start time of the meeting, which will be 6.30 p.m. Next item is G, adjournment. I move for adjournment, second. Second by Trustee Winfield, roll call. Yes. Trustee Rivera. Yes. Trustee Hill. Yes. Trustee Moore. Yes. Trustee Winfield. Yes. Trustee Moore. Yes. Trustee Monroe? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. Trustee Ramos? Yes. Chairman Bowman? Yes.